A rail yard is a pivotal piece of what makes a railroad work. It is here where equipment is maintained, sorted, and stored. But what do yard operations look like on the MBTA? This is the Boston Engine Terminal, or BET for short, and it is the MBTA's largest and most important rail yard. All sorts of equipment are stored here, locomotives waiting necessary maintenance, passenger cars anticipating inspection, even freight cars awaiting assignment, and more. This yard is mostly active during the nighttime, when commuter rail operations are out of service, with the exception of Sundays. On this day, the Reedville Switcher, an MBTA equipment move which connects the north and south sides, runs to BET during daylight hours. And that's what we're here for. The spot we're at is at a nice lookout near the new Somerville Community Path. From here, you can see the operations of the Green Line's inner belt facility, as well as trains on the Red Bridge Viaduct. I'd say this is a pretty cool spot. Anyways, today's Reedville Switcher is bringing four rail cars from the south side, in need of some maintenance. Additionally, the Switcher will be picking up a cut of cars and locomotives seen in this shot. It is now around 1.49 p.m., and we can hear the Reedville Switcher get clearance into the Boston Engine Terminal over my scanner. Yeah, Reedville Switcher, good afternoon. Good afternoon, coming at you. Uh... Four coaches, one local. Where'd you that? You have permission in the yard. To the Barrett track. Copy that. Permission in the yard for the Barrett. Thanks, Star Switch up. Here they are, passing through swift interlocking into the terminal. The switcher now hooks up onto its pickup. But wait, how will they get out of here? 1119 is completely boxed in. The solution? A second crew based in the Boston engine terminal, which today took out a solo HSP-46 from the diesel tracks. After lining on to the same track, the BET crew backs on to the switcher's drop-off of cars. From there, brake tests are performed, and soon the BET crew will take the cut of cars out of the switcher's way and towards their specific destination.
these cars are now being backed over to the diesel area to be sorted for later. Meanwhile, the Reedville switcher gets permission out of BT back home to Reedville with new equipment in tow. But the yard work isn't done yet. It's now time for this BET crew to sort and organize the Reedville switchers drop off. They take three out of four cars off of a far track whilst bringing the cut to another track. They now drop off two of those cars on the adjacent track and take the final buy level to another new track. From there, the sorting is done, and it's now time for the crew to return the HSP-46 to its home in the diesel area.
engines off, and another successful Sunday afternoon for the Reedville switcher operation. And that wraps up this up-close MBTA switching experience. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all again soon out there on the rails.